If the clock on your computer mysteriously keeps resetting back to the 1980s, it could be a sign that the motherboard battery needs replacing. You might not have realised that the motherboard has a battery, but it uses it to power the clock when the computer is not plugged in and for storing some of the computer settings. These settings need less power than the clock, so they may last for some time after the clock stops working. They won't last forever, so replace the battery as soon as the clock starts to have problems. Other symptoms you may experience may also include problems with antivirus software as it uses the date to check for the latest updates. Sometimes the computer won't boot at all unless you press a key when you turn it on and there is a message along the lines of RTC battery is discharged and this stands for real time clock. Most batteries are ordinary button type batteries like this one here. The balls we looked at researching for this video used a battery type called CR2032 and you can buy these from shops in the high street. It's a good idea to check in the computer first though to avoid wasting any money on the wrong batteries. Now here we got a case with the side removed and you can just see the battery down towards the bottom of the motherboard. They're normally flat on the board but we have seen a few mounted vertically, normally on mini shuttle type PCs. So you can see the process better, we've got a motherboard here on a special tray and you can see the battery down here. Now before you do anything else, always remove the power from the motherboard and this means unplugging the power cable from the motherboard, not just turning it off at the wall. This is because the motherboard actually stores quite a bit of electricity and you could damage it by changing the battery during this time. Now, because this electricity is stored, you need to make absolutely sure it's all gone. So we recommend pressing the power button after you disconnected the power. Now you might see a light turn off on the motherboard. You may even see the fan start to go around. And this shows just how much power is left on the board. Once you've done that, it's safe to proceed. Now you can see here on the battery, there's a small catch to one side. Just simply press it with a fingernail and the battery should pop out because the contact below it works like a spring. Now you really ought to dispose of the battery properly. You shouldn't throw them just into the bin and you'll find that most councils have battery recycling facilities. Take your new battery and you insert it with the text on the top uppermost. Put it in with the bottom side opposite the catch and then press it into place and you can hear it click there. Now all you need to do is replace the power and the side of the case and the computer is working again, although you may need to set the clock one last time.